Okay, so now we're at the point where we're going to be installing the uh, capture points into our website. Now, in the previous video, you recall I had three capture points, and these are the three we're going to set up. Now, the first one is basically I'm going to show you how if you had an email and you just had a click here, and how this would point to an opt-in box like this for, as an example. Now this here could be on an email or on a Facebook page or anywhere on your website so it points to this um, little opt-in box. Then I'm going to, um, well the other one we're going to do is how we actually put this little um, free download um, icon here onto your website so it links into here. So this can be put anywhere on your page and the example we're going to go through is going to be actually on your website. And the third one, well actually I've gone the other way around, one, three, two, is a pop-up. Now the pop-up is something that you've got control over. You can have it appear when someone exits or at a certain time on the site. So it all links to this little thing here and it's like a little capture net and this is where we need to give the email. So let's just rip into it and I'll show you how we do it. So what you'll need to do is to go to privy.com and um, you've been there before and you'll also need to, if you've got two screens, open up your website in the other screen. So let's just go ahead and go back into Privy and I'll show you the information we need. Right, so we log in and here we've got our campaign that's all been built. So we click on and what we're going to do is the first one we're going to focus on is the, um, like I said to you, is the little embed code. Now, what you need to do is you need to go down to here, this little thing here, this embed code is what we need. So just click on here and you'll come to a forms settings section here and leave it set at automatically size from or form to display all fields. Don't pick the fixed one, leave it at, at um, automatic. And then just go down to here, and this is the code you need. It is tiny. So what I want you to do is just copy, and then we'll go into our website. Now I've just um, logged into our good old Jack and Jill site. Now. I'm on the front page and this is probably a very good place to put the code because you need to capture these people as they're reading an article. So for the sake of the de demonstration I'm just going to put it down the side here and it, look it may sound hard but believe me it is really really easy. So I'll just move this up a bit and I'll show what we're going to do. Now what you need to do, I'm inside webly.com and this is the free website that you can you've got access to or you can use and if you don't if you haven't used Webly that's not a problem what you need to do is you're looking for anything that says embed code or it may have HTML code or add HTML all you do is this one here you drag it this one here you can pop it anywhere you like so we're just going to put it down the side there and all you do is you click on here we want it to sit to the right edit copy paste. Done. That's it. So that's one done. So let's go and do the other. So we're back at the Privy site. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to close that and now I'm going to add in the little link like I said to you you can use in an email or on your on your uh, website. Now when you're in Privy don't forget as you add in these um, little landing page links. As you add in each one you can label them. Okay, so you can label each section or what you want to call it. So here's the Jack and Jill, I've just called it Facebook account, but let's, well, let's just say it's the front page website of Jack and Jill. It doesn't really matter. So when you scroll over here it'll say copy. Just highlight that or just hit copy. It'll tell you it's copied to the clipboard. And then all you do is you go back to your website. Here it is here. Just click out of here. Now let's just go into um, into here. And what I'm going to do is um, copy this 
little bit of text here. This little bit of text here is just really means nothing, but we can change it to um, say click here as an example, and you can change it to change it to blue by just choosing a color here. You can change it to whatever color you like, and then all you do is because you got it into your um, it's all been copied and pasted. Click on this little link here, and the same goes for um, doing it inside email. And all you do is you right click and you paste. Now just click there, open in a new window. Really good idea because then people can opt in and then come back to your website. So all you do is you hit X and publish, and it's done. See the my publish button again. Yeah, it's done. Now we're going to go and put the pop-up code into the site. I bet you thought it was going to be a lot harder than this, and we've already done two. We've got one more, uh, one more to go. So now we're looking for the um, the website widget they call it. Now we find that code is in settings, and scroll down to see um, widget installation, and this is the code you need. Now just take it from the right at the top and scroll down, and grab the whole lot, right click, copy, and now we need to go into the website. <coughs> now just while we're in this section here. This is where, um, um, sorry, where you can get instructions for if you want to do something inside Webly. And there's a whole lot of different, um, uh, different website programs you can use. So if you want to have a look at that, feel free. But for this purposes, we don't. Oh look, the setting there pop up now. So <laughs> let's just go back to here. So you can have a re review of that if you like. So just make sure I've got all that code. There it is. Copy go back to the website. Now for this code you need to find the page you want to put it on. So again each um, setup is different. If you're using Jimdo or WordPress it's completely different. But this is basically follows the same structure. So what you need to do is if you're inside Webly click on home and you'll come down to here so you can see advanced. And what we're looking for is the header code. So this is where the page title would appear um, for the search engines. You can put in there, actually you can just put in there, pest control, North Shore. That's just good for um, SEO purposes, you can just stick that in there. Um, now, so if I, here it is, here's the header codes, so you just click on there, right click, paste, and it's done. And then hit code to here. Right, so with a bit of luck everything's done, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back into the Privy account and activate those pop-ups just so I can um, show you how it all works. So I've gone back into the Privy, I've jumped the gun a little bit here. So I'll just make sure they're all on and I'm just going to put this here to 5 seconds and limit that to 1 a week. Hit save and publish. Sorry you can't see what I'm doing there, just hit save and publish. it's turned on. Now I'm going to make sure you turn this off um, while your um, ads are getting approved. Now, so everything's all switched on, let's go to the website and I'll show you what it does. Okay, okay. well let's just type in the good old Jack and Jill pest control. Let's take a look. So here we go, so there's my little email opt-in box, there's my little tab, if we give it a couple of seconds a little pop-up should appear. So just give it a couple of seconds and there you go. So that's just popped up, just like that. So, you know, you probably don't want to have the um, little bit of code sitting here over the top. You, you may, what you may want to do is actually put this here, um, you know, somewhere deep inside your site because you know this is going to pop up. Now the other thing too, don't forget, um, if this is set to 30 seconds and someone goes to leave your site, this will pop up and capture them again. So um, that is it. That's how you do it. Um, it's really straightforward. Uh, the only difference is it just depends on the, um, the front-end system you are using to program your own site. So what we've done is we've um, I've shown you how to do the pop-up menu. I've shown you how to put in the uh, 
uh, lead capture form here on your website and again make sure you put this maybe down at the bottom or somewhere inside your inside your website on, the, on another page and then I've shown you how to do the click here in fact I'll just show you what happens when you click on there just to show you where it goes so I'll just click on here and there you go so it just pops up with that form sitting there which um, you need to change your logo out obviously and there's your other um, landing page so don't forget where this is linking from is set inside here inside Privy up here up the top okay so you do it in here edit inside here so there you go you've now got everything set up on your website and now you can go back and don't oh yes just before I go don't forget to turn this off okay and then go back and activate your AdWords campaign take it off pause and sit there and wait until it's been approved and then you can activate this and away you go and with a bit of luck you will start seeing some leads the leads will come in fairly quickly and uh, then you can just um, as they come in oh the other thing too as they yeah as they come in what you want to do is then scroll down to here into your into your contacts list and um, start reading them copy and pasting and sending out your lead magnets now just before I go what you can do is in settings go into here under email notifications and get daily campaign updates now this here will give you some um, information on what's happening with your campaigns and then just go into here and these notifications in here will actually tell you um, how to well actually tells you how to get the real-time email notifications off your network so it'll tell you when you've actually got a lead so have a quick flick through there and activate the, uh, the notifications and then it'll actually tell you when you've got a lead or you can just log in once a day and then just copy and paste the contact details and send them out the uh, the lead magnet now don't forget everything you've done in this course all integrates with Infusionsoft and that's where the power of automation comes into have a look at the next video and I'll show you what you can do if you want to take it to the next level and really start to capitalize on uh, the sales automation side of Infusionsoft this is where the money's made so have a look at the next video and um, I hope you enjoy it but just take some time out reflect on what you've done and I would go back and just set everything up and just give it a go or just move on and have another look at the have a look at the next video and see what you think thanks bye